Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the memory management blue screen error in Windows 11. The first solution that you should consider immediately is to run the memory diagnostic tool. To do this press the Windows button, then type in memory diagnostic and select it from the search results. Now in the following window just select the first option which is to restart now and check for problems. You will see that after the restart, the memory diagnostic tool will start checking your RAM for problems and if it finds any, you will receive details about it. If not, the system will just start booting normally. Another useful solution is to check for Windows updates. To do this, click the Windows button, then type in update and select check for updates from the search results. In here, just press for the check for updates button and if there are any updates, the system will download and install them. Then restart the PC after the process is finished. Another useful solution is to check for driver issues. To do this, right click the Windows button, then select device manager from the context list. In here, search for any driver that is marked with an exclamation mark and if you find one, just right click on it and select the update driver option. Now click on the search automatically for drivers option and if the system will find a new driver, it will install it and you will be prompted for a restart. If not, you can click on search for updated drivers on Windows Update. Now select the advanced option category and here look under the optional update section. If there are any such updates related to drivers, just install them, then restart your PC. You can also run an SFC scan and a check this scan in case the problem persists. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in CMD and run command prompt as an administrator. Then in the next window, type the following command and press enter to start the process. The system file checker will look for any corrupted system files and attempt to repair them. Wait until the process is finished and restart the system afterwards. In the same command prompt window, you can also type the following command and press enter. The check this tool will start detecting any problems with your drive and then try to fix them. Wait for the procedure to end, then restart your PC. And lastly, you can also reset your PC. To do this, click the Windows button, then select the settings icon and in here make sure to choose system from the left pane, then scroll down on the right pane until you find and select the recovery option. Now select the button to the right from the reset this PC option and you can proceed by deciding certain settings that should be kept for the resetting procedure. Then proceed with initializing the reset procedure. And that's it, plenty of options to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.